My name is Solomon Kleinsmith. Hi, my name is Jessica Eyes. We've spent the past three days speaking with delegates, lobbyists, and policy analysts about money in politics. The Republicans we spoke with agreed that they like the unlimited political spending created by Citizens United. However, they disagree on one point. Should political donors remain anonymous? Transparency is probably the most important thing in good governance. If you're looking at this from a Republican or Democrat perspective, but you're saying, how do we improve the system, make it transparent. If you don't like the fact that Saul Anuzis is making a contribution to somebody because I stand for whatever you know, principles or philosophy you don't like, it helps you make a decision whether you'll support that candidate or not. So again, whether it's on the right or the left, if we have true and open transparency, the system will be better, it'll be fairer, and, and, and I think it'll be good for the American people. I believe in full disclosure. Okay. That may be contrary to what some people believe here, but let the public know who the donors are, but don't limit them. In general, the Democrats want to limit the camp campaign contributions, and the Republicans have a tendency to want to say, just let, let anybody contribute, and there's a, some tendency to want to hide that. I say, total sunshine for everybody. I think every rule that's in place right now ought to be in the direction of making sure people have more visibility about what goes on. I think sunlight, there's a saying the sunlight's your best disinfectant, and I think that's true about the lobbying world. More, the more visibility, the better it is for everybody. And I think transparency is so important. Um, we should know where the money's coming from, uh, and, and then let the public decide. Just as you and I should have the right to free speech. We also have the right to speak um, in a way that's not necessarily connected to our own persona. We have anonymous writers all the time. You have anonymous um, authors. Why can't you have anonymous donors? When you think about it, an anonymous author is able to donate to the conversation without personal responsibility. It's a form of speech, and so if that speech is anonymous, then perhaps it naturally follows that as long as the Supreme Court has ruled that money is speech, then money speech should also be considered anonymous. I don't know why you need to know who the funder is. Uh, if Citizens United is happy to support me and my stance upon my principles, the question is you should ask me about my principles. And if people support the fact that I believe in limited government, fiscal responsibility, individual sovereignty, free market, traditional values, a strong national defense, I think everyone in this country should support me. There's a bill called the Disclose Act now hung up in Congress, that would ban anonymous donations. One option that has been on the table that the Democrats have really been pushing is the Disclose Act, which would require much more disclosure, as part of its name, uh, in terms of where money is coming from. But, this, you know, the Supreme Court has made its ruling on Citizens United, which has been debated, you know, quite extensively. I mean, you're going to see the platform comes up today. There's not going to be a call for the Disclose Act. We talked to Senate Minority Leader uh, Mitch McConnell this morning. He said he, you know, he's embraced is the Citizens United decision and there's a lot of kind of leadership right now in the Republican Party who has no um, belief that they want that to move forward so I think it would take a little bit of time. What do you think Congress could legislatively nibble away at the edges of Citizens United? How, how do you think that they could do that without directly um, running up against Citizens United? I I think that if they were compelled by their constituents to, uh, to themselves compel disclosure of these secretive political nonprofits, they could achieve that. 86% of Americans feel that there's too much money in politics. Next week, we'll continue to explore what we can do to address that concern. For Link TV's Voices Up, this is Jessica Eyes. I'll see you in Charlotte.